right, Ian, popular man tonight. I've noticed you've had a lot of recordings taken of you. Um, what are your thoughts on tonight's match? Um, I thought we started the game well. First 20 minutes, I thought we were good. Um, we had a, the players decided we've given the option opportunity to, to change the shape. Obviously, not with the personnel, but. And we, and we did that, and I thought we lost their way then for a little bit um, after a good start to the game. Missed a couple of chances, but then, like I say, the shape change probably didn't work, um, and we, we went back to the normal shape. I think they'd grown a little bit of confidence in, and they kept the ball and had a, a little spell themselves, to be fair to them. Um, second half, I thought, you know, we created chances again, and to be brutally honest, you know, we, we could have probably come in at the break, two or three up. Yeah. If we'd have been a little bit more clinical, clinical but um, second half, sort of in what we're all faces in. Um, second half, yeah, brought Kieran Cook on, and obviously he's, yeah. he's managed to get the goals that made the result a little bit more convincing. Yeah, with Kieran Cook is a player I was going to mention. I thought he, he looked very good on and off the ball, uh, quick, young player as well. So that's yes. something that. We had words after the Owls own game because I felt he was at fault for the, uh, the late goal that they scored against us. Um, yeah, so we had words after the game about him tracking his runners and we, to be fair, we'd have probably started um, tonight's game but I felt as a bit of a punishment we'd leave him on the bench but he, he's, he's reacted in a positive way, a superb way to react and obviously gives us a little bit of a headache and hopefully, you know, with, with him and Mills, they both got good goal-scoring threats from wide areas that might solve our problem at the moment with lack of goals from the nine at the moment. Yeah. Um, I noticed the game was a lot faster than I'm used to seeing Starbridge play. Is that something that you'd like to take credit for? Well, we kept asking them for a high, high intensity. You know, it's something we've, we've done in their previous clubs. We're not there yet, in my opinion, because you know it's still fitness. We had a played in some hot conditions in a local derby on Saturday, so I don't think the intensity was quite as high as we'd want it. Um, but there were spells when we, we you know, we it was the count, that counter attack was, yeah. was quick. And I thought when Lloyd come on, to be fair to me, he doesn't get the chances of a Mikey Taylor, that's for sure. But at the same time, he just gives us that platform to play into. And I think players trust him when he goes up to him that he's going to get hold of it and he's going to bring others into play. And I think that's that's when we looked probably at our strongest. And all, fair to, all in fairness, I think Kiddy was very young, sorry, tonight. And uh, they were toiling then, to be fair. Tom Tonks at right back. Well, Christian Green's um, away at the moment on holiday, so he's unavailable. Obviously. So he was just a fill-in, that's not yeah. something that you're looking at? No, I mean, he's um, Tom's is a centre mid, really, isn't he? Yeah. Um, but he, he's just done a job for us. It's all about minutes in the tank, really. He's got 90 minutes on Saturday and he's got another 90 under his belt today. He missed a lot of football last season through injury while he was at Stairbridge until he made the change and come over to Alder Church. Yeah. So, yeah, um, it's just... Minutes in the tank, and that's another thing with Ash Carter's come back from holiday now. He's had his first 90 tonight. Jordan Brown back from injury, he's had his first 90 as well. Boy, and Winwood's had 90 as well after coming on and doing well on Saturday. Yeah. So, them are the positives. A um, couple of little niggles. Mac has uh, had one on his foot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of positives again from tonight. Oh, definitely. Definitely. So, I found it enjoyable to watch. I know uh, a lot of the people that I was surrounded by were, were saying a lot of positive things. Um, so I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing so far and I, I know you're just going to keep taking that next level. Yeah, so. One thing we'll do is we'll just continue to play and play and encourage the lads to play and mm -hmm. you know, you know the build-up will be a bit more slower and a bit more methodical than perhaps what's been here in previous times but you know that's the way we do it, that's the way we think the football should be played yeah. um, and we will pass the ball and we'll like I encourage to play through the thirds. Uh, Look at the players that we've got. You know, they're all comfortable footballers. They're all technically good footballers. Yeah. Um, so you know, that's the way to do it. In our opinion, and that's that's the ethos we're going to have, and hopefully you know, everyone can buy into it, including the supporters. Because like I say, it's to be a little bit more patient with the build-up. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for talking to us, Ian. No problem. That. Thank you very much for interviewing me. Up the sour.